morning children in last class we discussed how to find the common factors and common multiples right in today's session let's learn few more divisibility rules okay see here we have the first one if a number is divisible by other number then it is divisible by all its factors for example see 18 is divisible by 6 because 18 comes in 6 table right then 18 divisible by all the factors of 6 what are the factors of 6 1 6 2 3 so without doing any calculation or any problem just simply we say as 18 is the factor of 6 we can say that 18 is divisible by 1 6 2 3 one two and three anyway one is a common factor of all the numbers so no need to specify two and three okay children see as 18 is divisible by 6 we can say 18 also divisible by 2 and 3 2 and 3 are the factors of 6 okay next point if a number is divisible by two coprime numbers okay one number is there that is divisible by two coprime numbers then it is divisible by their product also okay see we know what are coprimes mean right coprimes means two numbers which are having no common factor except one okay two numbers which are having no common factor except one are called coprimes see if for suppose any number is divisible by two coprimes then the number is divisible by the two numbers product also okay see for example 60 is divisible by 4 and 5 4 and 5 are coprimes because factors of 4 are 1 2 4 4 factors of 5 are 1 and 5 see the common factor is 1 so 4 and 5 are coprimes right as 60 is divisible by 4 and 5 we can say 60 is also divisible by their product what is 4 times 5 20 okay if a number is divisible by two coprimes then the number is divisible by their product also 4 fives are 20 right see next one if two given numbers are divisible by a number then they sum is divisible by that number see children here the main point is suppose two numbers are divisible by any number then their sum is also divisible by that number and their difference is also divisible by that number that means suppose here we have very clear example see 30 and 20 both are divisible by 5 right in 5 table 5 six are 30 5 fours are 20 so 30 and 20 both are divisible by 5 right according to first point when the two numbers are divisible by any number then their sum is also divisible so what is 30 plus 20 50 Tell me, children, fifty divisible by is five? Yes. So, if two numbers are divisible by any number, then their sum is also divisible. Okay. Let us check one more example. See, eighteen and twenty-four both are divisible by six because in six table six threes eighteen, six fours twenty-four, right? See, eighteen and twenty-four both are divisible by six. Let us add and check. What is eighteen plus twenty four? Eighteen plus twenty four is thirty two, right? Eighteen plus twenty four is forty two, right? Check it. Forty two divisible by six? Yeah. In six table six sevens are forty two. See how nice point. If two numbers, two numbers are divisible by any number. Then their sum is also divisible by that number. See, if we add eighteen plus twenty-four, also whatever number comes that is divisible by six. Okay. Next point. If two numbers are divisible by any number, then their difference is also divisible. See here, their sum is also divisible according to this point. According to the next point, their difference is also divisible. Let us take same examples and find the difference. First example is thirty and twenty are divisible by five. What is the difference of thirty and twenty? Ten. Is it ten divisible by five? Yes. And check second example also. Take the difference of twenty-four and eighteen. Six. Six divisible by six? 
Yes. So according to these two points, what we can understand, children? Suppose if any two numbers are divisible by any number, then their sum is divisible by that number. Their difference is also divisible by that number. And these four divisibility rules in our textbook page number 59. So please open the textbook and underline these divisibility rules. See in page 59, uh, at the bottom we have some more divisibility rules. Here, some sentences are given in bold letters. Okay. So, these you have to underline. The first is, if a number is divisible by another number, then it is divisible by each of its factors of that number. So, this is rule 1. Okay. Next. In the next page, page number 60, here we have the second point, third point, fourth point. Just now we discussed those four points we have in the textbook. So, please underline in the textbook itself. Either underline or highlight with any marker and write today's date. Mark it as CW. Students, in last class we discussed four problems, first four problems from exercise 3.4. Let's do the remaining problems. Okay, so fifth question is, which of the following numbers are co-prime? What is co-prime definition? If any two numbers are not having any common factor except one, then they are co-primes. So, let us write the factors and identify whether the pair of numbers are co-primes or not. See, the first bit we have 18 and 35. What are the factors of 18? 1, 1 18 is 18, 2 9 is 18, 3 6 are 18. So that's it. And factors of 35 are 135 and then 2 3 4. In 2 3 4 tables it won't and then 5 table 5 7. So these are the factors of 35. Just to identify children, what are the common factors for these two numbers 18 and 35? If you see only 1 is a common factor. The numbers which are having only one as common factor, those are co-primes. So, they are co-primes or not? Yes, therefore 18 and 35 are co-primes. Okay. Next, B bit. 15 and 37. So, let us write the factors of 15 as factors of 37. What are the factors of 15? 1 15, 3 5. Right? And then... What are the factors of 37? See, 37 is a prime number. We know prime number is having only two factors. Those are 1 and itself. Right? Now check it. What are the common factors for 15 and 37? Only 1. Okay? The numbers which are having only 1 as a common factor, these are co-primes. Right? So 15 and 37 are co-primes. Okay. Next, see bit. 30 and 415. What are the factors of 30? 130s, 215s, 310s, 5 6 are. Okay. And then what are the factors of 415? We cannot identify easily because it's a 3 digit number. As the number ends with 5, this comes in 5 table, right? Let us check in 5 table how many times. 5 8s, 40. 5, 3 is 15. So, in 5 table, how many times? 5, 83 is. Okay. First of all, let us write 1 and the number itself has factors. And then in 5 table, 5 into 83. See children here, both the numbers are prime numbers. So, these are only the factors of 415. Okay. Now, tell me what are the common factors for these two? 1 and 5 is also. So here 30 and 415 are having two common factors. So these are not co-primes. So 30 and 415 are not co-primes. Next to it. 17, 68. What are the factors of 17? We know 17 is a prime number, right? So what are the factors of any prime number? 1 and itself. And the factors of 68. See, we know 1 and itself are the basic factors of any number. So, I have written 1 and 68. And then, will it come in 2 table? As it is ends with 8, it comes in 2 table. How many times? If you don't know, no problem. Just you division, do division and check how many times. 3, 6, 8, 4, 8. So, how many times? 34 times. In 2 table, 34 times. Will it come in 3 table? 
apply 3 divisibility sum of digits 6 plus 8 is 14 it doesn't come in 3 table and then 4 table so what is 4 divisibility the 4 divisibility is the last 2 digits we have to divide with 4 let us do division with 4 once 4 28 4 7 28 yes so in 4 table how many times 4 table 17 times 4 table 17 times is 68. Then it won't come in 5 table because it's not ending with, not ends with 0 or 5. It won't come in 6 table because 6, 6 are, sorry, 6, 11, 66, 6, 6 12 are 72. It won't come in 7 table, 8 table. It won't come in any other table. So that's it. So identify the common factors children. 1 and 17. If numbers are having common factor as a 1, they are co-primes. But here, these two are having two common factors. So, these are not co-primes. Okay. So, 17 and 68 are not co-primes. 2, 16 and 2, 15. Children, in this situation, no need to find factors also. Why? I will tell you. See, are they consecutive numbers? Consecutive numbers means continuous numbers like 4, 5 or 5, 6, 9, 10, 200, 1, 200, 2. Two continuous numbers are called consecutive numbers. Anytime, any two consecutive numbers are always co-primes. Okay? Okay? Any two consecutive numbers are always co-primes. Okay children. Any two consecutive numbers are always co-primes. No need to find the factors also. See 215, 216. Two continuous numbers right? They are co-primes only. Next 81 and 16. Let's try the factors of 81. 81 comes in one table 181 and then it don't come in two table as it is odd number. Okay and then three table. In three table how many times? Let us check. In 3 table, uh, 3 twos, 6, 7, 21. So in 3 table, how many times? 27 times. And as it is an odd number, it never come in any even table. So no need to check 2 table, 4 table, 6 table and all. Okay. Odd number never come in even table. So 3 after 4 on top, 5 table. It na it's not times with it's not ending with 5, so it's not divisible by 5 also. Then 6 table, it don't come. 7, no, 8, no. And then 9 table, how many times? 9 nines. Okay. So, no need to write repeated numbers. So, factors of 16. 1 sixteenths, 2 eighths, and then 4 fourths. Okay. So, we listed all the factors of 81 and 16. Let us identify the common factors. 1 and any other common factor? No. So, if any two numbers are having only 1 as common factor, then they are co-primes. Therefore, 81 and 16 are co-primes. Okay, children. Next. Next, sixth question. Check out what is sixth question. A number is divisible by both 5 and 12. By what other number will that number be always divisible? See children, if any number is divisible by 5 and 12, then it is also divisible by? In today's session, first we discuss some divisibility rules. Let us apply that. If any two co-primes are divisible by a number, then their product also divisible by that number. What is the product? 5 twelve, 60. That means if a number is divisible by 5 and 12, then it is also divisible by their product 60. Okay. Next. Seventh question. A number is divisible by 12. By what other numbers will that number be divisible? This point also we discussed. If a number is divisible by any other number, then that number is also divisible by all its factors, right? What are the factors of 12? 1, 12, 2, 6, 3, 4. 
Okay, so if any number is divisible by 12, then we can say that number is also divisible by all these numbers. Okay, therefore the number is also divisible by, we won't consider 1 and itself, remaining numbers we write. Okay, by 2. Let us write in order. 2, 3, 4 and 6. Okay. If a number is divisible by any number, then that number is also divisible by all its factors. In today's session, we discussed four divisibility rules and along with that from exercise 3.4, we discussed 5, 6 and 7 problems. Okay. In next session, let's uh, we can start exercise 3.5. Thank you.